the seventh season of 911, which concluded on Thursday with another game changing finale, will be remembered by series star Peter Krause as the strongest 10 episode arc we've ever done. Of course, this historic arc hasn't been particularly kind to Krause's Bobby Nash, who began the season surviving a sinking cruise ship and ended it fighting his way out of a coma. Despite all signs and promos suggesting otherwise, the former captain of the 118 pulled through on Thursday, surviving the hour and living to mentor another day. This being the show's first season on ABC, Krause is glad that 911 revisited so much of Bobby's painful backstory, helping any audience members who hadn't seen the show and might be joining it in season 7. But he also hopes that this latest arc gives Bobby a new launching pad to kind of let go of his past even more. He's looking forward to more romantic comedy and crime solving with Athena and Bobby moving forward. And aren't we all? Unfortunately, Bobby already has a new fight on his agenda for season 8 as his return to the 118 comes under new leadership, literally the dumbest, meanest, most racist, homophobic option conceivable. And that was just one of several dramatic finale developments, which also included Christopher's shocking reaction to Eddie's affair and an unexpected turn of events in Hen and Karen's ongoing battle to adopt Mara. We'll start with the final surprise that Gerard is officially taking over as the new captain of the 118. I could see Gerard having a real grudge against Bobby for getting all this positive attention after he took over Gerard's firehouse, and now we, he wants it back. He doesn't know any specifics about which legitimate or illegitimate obstacles Gerard will employ to keep Bobby from reclaiming captainship of the 118 Guzman sees Eddie having to play things by ear next season, and he hopes that working under Gerard doesn't have a negative impact on him. Eddie doesn't really know Gerard yet, but from what he's heard, he's the worst parts of a human being. So is that going to propel Eddie to go back to what he came from, a masculine man who doesn't talk about his emotions? Is that going to make Eddie go back to a version of himself that didn't lead him any anywhere healthy? Who knows? If you take that away, all kinds of chaos can happen. Believing that Amir set the fire and blaming herself for letting him into their home, Athena Grant, aka Mrs. Bobby Nash, started waving her gun around until she got some answers. They weren't the answers she was expecting specifically that Bobby and Amir's cartel enemies were responsible for the blaze, but they got the job done. Amir and Bobby reconnected one last time in the ashes of his and Athena's home, a scene Krauss will remember as being very meaningful, especially when Bobby held up his medal, an act that reminded Bobby of the dedication that he feels towards the service of firefighting. Bobby also feels called to help people in other ways, which Krauss says he has discussed with Meneer. It depends on what works for the show, he explains, but we've talked about Bobby being more active in AA and being there for people like that. Despite Eddie's best efforts, which included bringing in the big guns, aka Buck, Christopher still can't forgive him for cheating on Marisol with his dead mother's doppelganger. Unbeknownst to Eddie, Christopher called his grandparents, who flew up from Texas to help out, which ultimately meant giving Christopher a place to stay while he grapples with his father's betrayal. While we don't have official confirmation on the matter, something tells us that Marisol won't be sticking around to help Eddie find himself all over again. The best news to come in the finale besides Bobby surviving his latest brush with death, of course, was that Mara will get to remain in Hen and Karen's lives despite the best efforts of that evil councilwoman. Following a heartbreaking visit to Mara's new group home where it was clear that the poor girl was miserable, Maddie and Chimney were approved to temporarily house her, so at least Mara can be part of the Wilson family even if they aren't able to live under the same roof just yet. What do you think? Tell us in the comments and keep watching Film Buff Baby.